This is a tutorial for Illustrator and the graph tool and in particular the column tool and changing the bar design into something more interesting like maybe a 3D design. Right, just got some designs here and I'm just going to select one of the designs and I'm going to go to object, graph and design and I'm just going to say so we got I've got other designs already in here that I've created earlier but uh, just going to create new design that new design is actually added there so rename blue dot okay click OK at that point and also I'm going to select this 3d box design so object graph design and again, it's actually selected preview, but it just displays the one that's previewed there. So there's lots of different designs there. So new design. Now the preview displays the 3D design that was actually selected there. Click OK. Click OK. Right. Now go to the graph tool and column graph. Just going to drag that out to define the size of the, the graph. And it defaults to 1. So I'm just going to enter some values so 6 10 14 click OK at that point and to actually change the design you actually have to select the design and then the chart so I've selected both and then object graph and column I want to change that so I'm just going to go down the design. So new design. Now could actually set one of these other ones if you wish. Say so star at that point. I'm just going to click that one. Just going to use the 3D design. It's going to be vertically scaled. That's the initial. State. So you actually get the three-dimensional design. It's actually created in proportion to the values set. Now I don't want that. I'm just going to go to. I'm selecting both again. I have to go select both both design and the graph column go through the designs select that 3d again and then repeating give a unit for it so I'm just going to select, select that okay and then you get the the actual designs applied there now slightly more interestingly you can actually use symbols which are actually probably slightly better so I'm just going to get rid of those for now and I'm just going to select that text one. I've actually created text earlier. So some quick basic text and background. And just going to select that and the chart again. Then object, graph, column. That's going to go through it and select the text. Right, select that. OK. Again, it's got repeating and it's one. Click OK. So now all those symbols are just displayed here. Now, selecting the graph. Again, you could change the data if you wish, and that would reflect obviously just in this, this thing over here. So now go to the symbol, replace a symbol. So just going to select another symbol it's just going to be the star symbol I've created a star symbol so I've just select that as well as selecting the graph and I'm just going to go replace symbol to make it clearer so now all the text fields that were in the graph have actually been replaced by a star now that's quite useful in terms of actually changing the graph at a later stage without going via the design method. Actually all it is is just using symbols and you can replace in symbols. It's actually quite a quick and easy way of doing it. And of course great many thousands of different uh, graph designs. These graph designs can be used in the other graphs but just using it just for the basic column graph tool.